So how can you apply the Vivid filter in Android phone? And let's get started. So you have some options, but before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss anything important in the future. Anyways, you can at first apply it to photos when you capture them, but also to existing photos in your gallery. So let's cover everything. When it comes to the camera app, you can go ahead and open it up like that. And at the top, you should see like a little layers icon. If you tap on this, the filters are going to appear and you can scroll through them. And there are actually more of the filters available. The cool thing about it is that you can also adjust the intensity of the filters. So you might like some of them, but perhaps not so strong. So you can dilate it down a bit if you prefer it that way. Right. So obviously you just capture the image and it's going to be with that filter applied. Or, as I mentioned, you might also find something in your gallery which you want to perform the changes on. And similarly, you can go there, tap on the pencil icon to perform the edits, and you also have some filters to play with. These are most likely the very same filters which you had in the photos or in the camera app, but you can also add them later on in the post-production. And of course, this might be enough for a lot of people, but if you are professional with it, or if you need a little bit more, you can explore some third party options. For example, if Snapseed is a photo editor from Google, then we have Lightroom from Adobe and also VSCO, which has plenty of presets and like filters to play with. So yeah, there are so many apps which you can use to import your photos to and apply all of these random filters. And this is going to be about it from me. I honestly hope that I could help you with it. Let me know below in the comments if you have man managed to make it work. Thanks a lot. And I'm going to catch you in the future tutorials.